In Nigeria, public resources amounting to billions of dollars are said to have been stolen by public servants. President Muhammadu Buhari has vowed to go after anyone accused of stealing public funds. So, just how far has the president moved with his fight against corruption? CCTV's Kalechi Mekalam put this question to the president's spokesman. Now, let, let's talk a bit about fighting corruption. It's been the cornerstone of this administration, and the president has been very vehement on, on, on it. Um, some big shots are still out at large, and uh, how, how would you rate the performance, you know, in that area? In the past, in this country, impunity reigned supreme. Uh, uh, even when they were caught, big men never really were made to face justice in the country. Given the number of the high-profile cases that are now before the judges, uh, convictions in some of these cases are ongoing. But a lot is being done, recoveries are being made, uh, monies, are, monies being recovered from former public officials who had misappropriated you know, public funds. The president has uh, taken his uh, war against corruption beyond the shores of this country. It's very clear to him that without international support, we cannot succeed in fighting corruption in this country. Take for instance, the theft of crude oil in the country, which had been put at between 250,000 to 400,000 barrels per day. Now, without willing buyers outside our shores, outside this country, there is no way you can, you, can, you, you can take out fuel. Now, increasingly, it's been made difficult for them. Checks are being mounted at home, the increasing surveillance uh, supported by our partners, the European Union, United States of America, the, the, the Gulf of Guinea countries. We are now able to surveil, you know, the, the environment and, 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 this, and the spot and, you know, ships that are removing crude oil illegally from Nigeria. Uh, people who are caught, whether they are our party members or opposition party people, they have been prosecuted and the law will take its course. And what's been the major challenge for this government? The, 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 the international dimension of it, because a lot of the people who had stolen from this country, you, the practice is they flee abroad. They, they, they stay there, or even when they are here, assets are not within our own reach. They are in the major capitals of the world, and these things are known. And two, obviously, you have, uh, to, you have to deal with the judicial process. You know, the president used to make the joke of the fact that when he was a military head of state, he was not encumbered by the law or constitution. When they caught you stealing from the public, or they, they will seize you, they will put you in jail until you prove your innocence. The, the constitution of Nigeria, which is a democratic constitution, does not allow that at this time. I think that it is not wrong to say that this country has been challenged by some of the decisions that uh, seem to be coming out of the courts or the way some corruption cases are being handled. But we are assured that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, who presides over the National Judicial Council, they are concerned about some of these things and they are dealing with errant judges.